Hello, beloved, and welcome back to my channel. It's your priest, sister, and divine coming to you on this beautiful, sunny, and bright day. How you doing out there, my divine masculines, my kings, my guys? <laughs> Today, we are doing a quick reading for those divine masculines in separation with your divine femme. For whatever reason, we shall see. But this is a reading on how your divine femme truly feels about you. In case you're wondering. No matter when you see this reading, it is timeless. God is speaking to you through destiny and not fate. So sit back and just what is for you, what resonates and what does not. Let it simply fly away. Okay? Don't make it fit where it doesn't fit. Use your discernment and your intuition to focus in on your message. If you need more personal message, you can email me through the box, through the information in the box below to answer your personal questions. Yes, we're going to just let it flow. What is your divine family in separation? Truly feel about you, beloved. Finding out the truth? Crush me. Okay, divine masculines. Your divine feminine is greatly hurt. Only you know why. The energy I'm getting is Something happened in the connection that caused her some physical, emotional, maybe mental pain, heartache, suffering in silence, a separation, whether there was a third party karmic allowed in the relationship, whatever she found out has left her. Look, we need to let each other go to a source energy, making a decision, a very tough decision, a painful decision. We need to let each other go. That word need is if it has not been done. Mm. Possible that she, you, or you both are still holding on. But the pain and the memory and the confusion, maybe there's some unanswered questions, maybe there was no resolution, leaves you still clinging to each other's energy, hope, potential of a union possibly, or maybe She wants to be more than just friends. She still loves you. She still desires you. She still wants to be with you in some way. But she's very unsure, very guarded at this time. Singing her emotions, hermit mode, evaluating, thinking. Trying to figure out exactly what it is she wants. I know I messed up everything. This third party could have been on her part. For some. Maybe she was the initiator of the separation. Of what caused the separation. Somehow she holds some accountability. About... You two not being together. But she is healing. And she is growing. And she's finding a way back to self. Elevating. Becoming a better person. Going within. Going within. 
she wished she could take back her words. Said some things that were very hurtful to you, very painful for you, tried to demasculate your energy, your person. She spoke out of anger, out of pain, out of frustration, out of fear, out of hate. Realizing that after thinking on it, wishing she could take back a lot of things she said. Maybe she was insensitive. Maybe you came to her before the separation over and over and over again looking for a change and maybe she was unavailable emotionally. But so many things remind her of you. That could be anything. It could be a smell of a man walking by with a certain cologne that you used to wear. Maybe a program on TV, a show or something you used to watch together. A place you used to visit together. Food you used to eat together. It could be a lot of things. A color. A place. One more card. I'm prompted to pull from this deck. We have one more thing that this divine fan would like to say to her masculine who is listening, watching. She wants to tell you how she feels. She's afraid. She's guarded. She feels guilt, shame. She feels confusion, imbalance. <laughs> She's a feminine. Full of emotional hormones and she's all over the place. But she can't stop thinking of you. That's twin flame energy. Passionate, intense connection. Once built on something real. Yeah, you don't know how hard it was for her to let you go. Let you walk out. Block you. Say goodbye, even for a while, not knowing if it was forever. Let's find out some universal messages from the universe. But before I take that, let's follow an order here. We're going to do a hidden message reading, Paul. What you don't know, Divine Masculine. If this feminine walked away from you and you have no resolution, but oh, lusting, not love. You two got involved in this relationship a little too quickly. Got involved in sexual energy a lot faster than love. And it was built on something that wasn't solid from the beginning. A lot of passion, a lot of desire, but not a lot of commitment, accountability, loyalty. So what you don't know is she fell in lust with you way before she fell in love. And when that fell apart for whatever reason... When you start having sex less or affection less or, you know, that connection dwindled. The love she had for you was enough to keep it going. It didn't equal the amount of lust in her heart for you. Doesn't mean that she didn't love you. At this time, her desire of you could... Not be about commitment. Long term, she misses your sexual energy more than anything. Yeah. She's sorry. She cheated on you. She's sorry she allowed someone else in. She's sorry that she was lustful and needy of attention. 
affection and got it in other ways by any other means necessary. Your divine femme could actually have battled or be battling a sex addiction stem from traumatic childhood trauma, possibly molestation. Spirit says, it's time, divine masculine, to find your masculinity. You're also struggling in silence because you're angry. Your masculinity was demasculated when this partner stepped out on you, took a hit to your self-esteem. Spirit says, you need to speak up. You need to speak your truth. You need to reach out and get the answers and make her take accountability for what was done and stop placating as if she's a wounded little kitten. That's not the case. Take your masculinity back, divine masculine, and stop feeling sorry for her in the past that she may have gone through because that's no excuse for mistreating and abusing you. That's what Spirit says. What did I say? I'm not making this up. Time to put your foot down and speak your truth. Don't let her get away with thinking that she's just a female and you know too sensitive. Yeah. Universal messages for this connection. You both love each other. You may figure this out more after separation. Time to think, to evaluate the truth of how you feel this connection. The love is mutual. If she didn't love you enough then, she still feels about you the way she did from the beginning. The grass wasn't green on the other side and he is not you. She wants a new beginning. She wants to spend time with you. Youthful energy Playful energy. She misses that playful energy. That innocence of her that only you could make her feel. You knew her past. You didn't hold it against her. She felt a sense of, yeah. Closed out a chapter. Closed out a season. What is Spirit telling you? Universal energy. New beginnings. New beginnings. I see a possible reunion in the works. That will take a lot of healing and a lot of forgiveness, but it's possible. Yeah. She wants another chance. And I believe so do you, Divine Masculine. But you may be letting your pride and your ego about the fact that she stepped out. I heard spirits say, what well, doesn't matter. Neither one of you were virgins when you met. So are you more obsessed with her as your possession and angry that someone else took a bite of your fruits? Ego, pride, don't let it cost you the opportunity to miss a true soulmate connection. We are all fallible and we all make mistakes. No person will never not make a mistake. Forgiveness is a concept for a reason. 
Remain positive, beloved. Remain positive. Is in vibrate higher. Stay out of that low frequency energy. Get rid of that chip on your shoulder. Whoever she was with meant nothing. Apparently, a momentary moment of lust. Poor decisions. Inexcusable behavior, yes. No. No, it was not an inexcusable behavior. No, it is not an inexcusable behavior. Your feelings have a right to be valid, to be valued, to be heard. We're not trying to excuse her for poor behavior. But we are allowing her to be human and forgiving. And accepting. Love wins, love conquers, love heals, love forgives. Love is stronger than any other emotion in the universe. And if you truly love this divine family, and you can put your pride and your ego away. Beautiful things come out of it. There it is. Trust in the divine order of things. Trust in in divine timing this is the sign you've been waiting for this video this message trust thyself if it ain't right you're gonna know anyway ask others for help it's time to meditate to pray to seek the assistance of your angels your ancestors your cosmic guides to show you the divine way Ask them to reveal it in a dream, in a book, and you just flip through pages. The words that you first see, put them all together, they can write a story. That's the technique. If you need to know, hit me up. <laughs> On a sign in a song, angel numbers, they will give you divine guidance. Ask them to guide you. Towards what's for your highest good. But don't make a decision in anger. Don't make a decision in ego. Don't make a decision in shame. Or guilt. Or judgment. Or based on what others say you should do. This is your message. Please hit the like button. Divine mask. <laughs> Please hit the like button. Or cross watcher. Might be some of you ladies in here too. Subscribe if you have not to the channel. Come back again for more divine masculine messages. Exclusive content. On this channel, I'll bring the gentleman individual messages. Yes? So share it and let your brothers know. On this channel, we give equal time and equal flow. <laughs> I've been led to do that, and that's how I will go forward. Love donations, send me a cash out, PayPal. It's below. You want a personal reading? You have more questions. Book with me, masculine, and I'll answer them. But as within, so without. As above, so below. No man can stop what God has put together. Enjoy the rest of this beautiful day. In the comment section, let me know how it goes. <laughs> Until then, King Ashe.